Well, 2021 O Harvest has started. Looking like a pretty good yield here so far. I don't know about bumper crop, but I mean, we ain't done with this field to really know yet, but I'd say above average at least so far. Now, of course, things can change for the better or worse. Of course, we're on the outside round, so usually it gets better towards the center. I don't know how much straw we're really gonna have this year. It's uh, a little shorter than usual because it's so dry. But they say yield wise for oats on a drier year. Of course, it still needs a shots of rain here and there. It's better yielding oats than a wetter one. But that usually rings true. I mean, you can see her flowing right in there on the camera. I mean, that's pretty decent there. Now this yield monitor ain't calibrated at all, but we're saying 70 bushel an acre here. Um, saying 11.6 moisture. Uh, that, I, that ain't calibrated either. We never really calibrated that one. I mean, we'll calibrate the monitor for uh, corn yield usually once a year. I mean, we don't get it dialed in, but we get it in the ballpark. But oats, no. So, basically with this combine, it's basically a big combine on this header. Like, for the little bit of oats we do a year, we don't do any beans, we don't have a bean header. I mean, if we ever do beans some year, we have a bean header, we might try the bigger header on oats, but this thing just works good for the little bit we do. All right, first gear, wide open, 3.7, 3.8. We can more than likely go faster than this, but you know, why push it? I can still hear grunts of shit going through here and there. Well, it's not like you don't know it's there. I mean, I can, I could slug this thing if I wanted to yet with a 13 foot head, but yeah, it's not bad. So like, this is some of the cleanest oats I remember combining, like, Ever really I don't know what what it was maybe it was drier the weeds couldn't get a jump start or what it was I mean you'll see one here and there but like <laughs> it's really good as you can see underneath all the green that's not a weed that's uh that's alfalfa we got this interceded I mean we got a really good stand alfalfa underneath there really good but uh, we got the holes flying good Yeah, everything's pretty decent right here. Cruising right along. Well, this is the third dump already, and we're getting the front of the wagon full. We got four passes on the top side of here, and two on the bottom, and this is a 10 acre field, so, like, gosh, she's doing pretty decent here. But try not to overfill it, not the, camera auger going here. Kind of lets me see the back of the wagon. That's kind of nice. When you get a pile going, you really can't see the back. We got a couple green leaf, alfalfa leaves in there. I see a speck of straw, but it ain't bad. I don't think we're planning on selling any oats, if much at all. Like The old price ain't it's good locally this year, so it's better off just keeping the oats, grinding it, and then just sell a few more bushels of corn. Like, if we have much corn this year, that's not doing the greatest. It's all right, I guess. But we ain't gonna get her full, but next hop or this, this wagon will be full. So, and there's a lot to go. So we got this 10.2 acres harvested. And we got just over two gravity boxes. Um, each gravity box is supposed to be 500 bushels, but it's more like 500 bushels of corn. I think last year when we sold two gravity boxes of oats, if I remember, it was when we went across the scale, it was like six or 700 bushels of oats, but you know, that all depends on test weight. So let's just say it's 500 
bushels each and we don't count the little bit we put in the third wagon but it's a hundred bushel an acre right there simple math but oh they did pretty damn good really i mean not bad so now we're out here mowing the stubble off get it nice and close to the ground there's a new seating and get it nice and spread out in windrows for bailing here in a few days. We usually let it dry like hey two or three days or it might be more than that now just whenever we get to it. So been mowing recently like 1700 rpm did that second crop which is still laying on the ground get rained on and then today i mean it it cuts it just as good as wide open so i don't know has the power <laughs> i don't know yeah we got i don't know foot foot and a half of stubble here we're cutting off yeah we could get closer with the combine but then you're eating more green stuff more alfalfa which can make your sample wetter, get more leaves in the sample, so. I don't know, we always on this way, works pretty damn good. Loading the oats. This is the third wagon, fuller than I thought it would be. Like I said, got some straw in it, but this stuff is real short in that spot. That last corner field. We don't really care. We're feeding it to our own cows, so not bad. 